So let's discuss caffeine, the good, the bad, and the ugly. The caffeine is the main ingredient in energy drinks, and it gives you immediate feeling alertness and increased energy. But it's not without its downsides. While a moderate amount of caffeine can improve focus and performance, too much can lead to negative effects. This can include jitters, heart palpitations, insomnia. It's also worth noting that caffeine content can vary widely between different brands and types of energy drinks. And this makes it difficult to keep track of how much caffeine you are actually consuming. How does caffeine act in your body? Caffeine is an adenosine receptor antagonist. It's a stimulant that can influence the activity of neuronal control pathways in the central and peripheral nervous system. It is the most common stimulant in energy beverages, with most such beverages containing between 70 and 200 milligram of caffeine per 16 on serving. And adverse effects typically manifest with ingestion higher than 200 milligram of caffeine and include insomnia, nervousness, headache, tachycardia, arrhythmia, and nausea. The ergogenic effects of caffeine on athletic performance have been shown and its broad range of metabolic, hormonal, and physiological effects have been described. Caffeine has been shown to be an effective ergogenic aid for endurance athletes when ingested before and or during exercise in moderate quantities, three to six milligram per kg of body mass. Of note, caffeine appears on the list of substances banned by International Olympic Committee. Caffeine metabolizes fat stores and it stimulates working muscles to use fat as a fuel, which delays depletion of muscle glycogen and allows for prolonged exercise. And the critical period in glycogen sparing appears to occur during the first 15 minutes of exercise when caffeine has been shown to decrease glycogen utilization by as much as 50 percent thus glycogen saved at the beginning is available during the later stages of exercise that is why for people who are really uh, busy doing um, exercise running or uh, gym workout uh, caffeine intake can be beneficial for endurance effects on heart Caffeine binds to a denosine class of G protein couple receptors on the surface of heart muscle cells, which begin a second messenger system with cyclic adenosine monophosphate inside the cells and mimics the effect of epinephrine. And the rate of glycolysis increases, which increases the amount of ATP available for muscle contraction and relaxation. And this can result in a positive inotropy and chronotropy that is a stronger and faster heartbeat. Caffeine immediately increases blood pressure and peripheral vascular resistance in part because of sympathetic stimulation. Let's discuss sugar content, a sweet trap. Sugars are basic currency for energy in the body with glucose being the key carbohydrate that can readily be oxidized by skeletal muscles for energy production. Often energy beverages contain sugar, high fructose corn syrup or sucrose. And the amount of sugar provided in one can or 500 ml of an energy beverage is typically about 54 gram. A teaspoonful of sugar weighs about four gram. So a typical energy beverage contain about 13 teaspoon or just more than one quarter of a cup of sugar. And long-term exposure of body to excessive amount of simple sugar is associated with the development of obesity and insulin resistance. Pancreatic beta cells increase insulin secretion in response to this reduction in insulin sensitivity. Over time, in many individuals, the beta cells become unable to secrete sufficient insulin to maintain normal blood glucose levels and leading to the development of diabetes. This high uh, sugar content in energy drinks is another major concern. While sugar can provide a quick energy boost, it is a double-edged sword. Consuming too much sugar can lead to a host of health problems. For example, weight gain, obesity, type 2 diabetes can lead to tooth decay and other dental problems. Furthermore, the energy boost from sugar is often short-lived. It is easily followed by a sugar crash, a sudden drop in energy level that can leave you feeling tired and sluggish. Again, the sugar content can vary between different energy drinks. Some contain more than 
the recommended daily intake of sugar for adults, making them a very unhealthy choice. Additional ingredients, what else are you consuming? In addition to caffeine, energy drink contain other ingredients, vitamins, amino acids, and herbal extracts. While these ingredients may sound beneficial, but their actual effects are often unclear. Many of them have not been thoroughly studied, especially the high concentration found in energy drinks. Moreover, the combination of these ingredients with high levels of caffeine and sugar can lead to unexpected side effects. And these can range from mild discomfort to serious health issues. 